Today, we are on a high salt diet. Hi, everybody. Welcome to At Your Leisure. I'm Chad Booth. I'm Maria Rossi, and we're here at the Bonneville Salt Flats today. It's for World of Speed. Now, this is just a fun event that goes on every year, and we don't get out here often enough. Oh, this no. is your first time, though, isn't it? My first time. It's awesome. It's beautiful out here and hot. Indeed. We're going to wander around and check it out and let you share this experience with us today. And uh, I have an inside track to get her on the track. We're going to get you driving. Oh, I can't wait to get in the cockpit. Now, World of Speed is different than Speed Week, which happens a little bit earlier, because World of Speed is something that you can actually bring your own car out here and participate in as long as you can get it up to 130 miles an hour. And so it's fun for everybody, whether you just decide, I want to go drive on the salt flats or just come out and watch. Right. And there is all types of diversity of cars out here. I mean, it is streamliners, Volkswagens, <laughs> yeah. motorcycles. I've never seen anything like it. It's phenomenal. That's true. We're going to let you share this experience with us today during the next half hour. It'll be a lot of fun. Yeah, I can't wait. If you don't want to spend an entire weekend here at the Salt Flats, there's a lot more to do around here. And Steve Human is actually just a few miles down the road, and he's going to show us what you can do. Hey, thanks, Steve. If you'd like more information on uh, where Steve has been traveling out here in the mountains of West Desert, go to our website, AYLTV.com. If you have a comment, at your leisure dash AYL is our Facebook page, and we love to communicate with people there. So drop by and give us a couple of comments about it. Now, we are here with Wes Potter. Wes Potter is the media guru for the Utah Salt Flats Racing Association. Wes, thanks for taking a little time with us today. Oh, thanks for coming out. Okay, got one question. Because this is a kind of a do-it-yourself show, and At Your Leisure is all about getting out and doing things in the outdoors, I got a little sports car. Okay. Uh, no, it's just a stock little sports car. Can I actually bring it out to this event and participate? Yes, you can. We have the 130 Club, mm -hmm. and it's designed for just that, for street legal cars. You can pay your membership. You can pay your That's other what, for $45? fees. $45? Yeah. And then you pay... Uh, a fee to come out and run. Uh -huh. It gives you five runs uh -huh. and <clears throat> you need to go over 130 and under 139.9 miles an hour to get in the 130 club and you have to do that twice out of five tries. How many oh. miles do you get to go? I mean, did, you get to get mile. to 130, you get one mile to do one, 130. One mile to get 130. Okay. Let's say I wanted to go 300 miles an hour. What are we talking about? How much money would I be putting into a vehicle like that? It takes a bundle of money to go 300 miles an hour. Sure. And it takes some technical skills. There's one racer who has raced a Pontiac Firebird body, and he has obliterated the records <laughs> in every class he has ever run in. How fast do you want to go? How much do you want to spend? They're thinking of ways to go faster the next time. Oh, it's so, it's so exciting. So, oh, yeah. It's so exciting. And great, great people. Mm -hmm. As a group, they're some of the brightest people. Oh, you'll yes, ever indeed. Run into. Absolutely. So that yeah. part is fun as well. Right. Well, listen, we are going to uh, get out uh, into the pits and take a look at some of the stuff around here. Okay. There's a lot of interesting stuff to see. You stay with us. When we come back, it'll be time for our weekly product review right here on At Your Leisure. Welcome back to At Your Leisure. I'm Maria Rossi. And we are having so much fun out here walking up and down these cars here. In fact, don't you think it'd be fun just to be able to get in each one and just like take it for a quick lap? Oh, it'd be a dream. I'd Actually, you only get to go one way, so you have to put half of them at the <laughs> other end and come back. Well, know? would you come and get me? Because I don't know if I could oh, get no, back. Oh, no, you just hop in the next car that you're going <laughs> to test drive. Actually, that would be kind of fun, but you know who really... Darren. I know, Darren needs to be here, but he can't be because he's doing our product review. Welcome back to At Your Leisure. I'm Rhea Rossi. And we are here, Chad Booth, of course, we are here at the World of Speed out on the Bonneville Salt Flats. And, uh, you know, you're quite a gearhead, aren't you? Yeah, just a little. <laughs> I have six brothers, so I know what it's all about. Yeah. But I'm telling you, this is the coolest place to be on the planet today. That's, Seriously. It really is. As a matter of fact, uh, take a look at the different kinds of cars. Like, see that, see that one right there? That streamliner is made out of the wing tank from a T-33 fighter jet. And it's still, the tank is really still pretty much intact and they just built the car around it. And to show you how much of a gearhead she is, it only took her about 30 seconds to schmooze up the all-male team, talk the lingo they know, and the next thing you know, she's in the cockpit driving the thing down the warm-up ramp to the starting line. It's crazy. Oh, it was a blast. It was just exhilarating. It was just something I've always wanted to do my whole life and I got to do it today. And it's just so fun. 
Anyway, they're all different kinds of cars from all different kinds of classes, and uh, they're all different kinds of drivers with stories to tell. Let's actually meet some of them right now. <laughs> How nervous do you get before you run this each time? The first run you're nervous because you don't know if the car has been properly prepared, if you missed anything. After the first run yesterday, it's just business as usual. Like driving the Buick on the freeway, just faster. Can I just ask you how fast a rabbit runs? Well, with the stock engine in here at Loring, we set the record at 129.45. <laughs> you ride sitting up, standing up, or laying down. Well, you're going to sit down, but as you get up to speed, my butt will come as far back here as I can get. Technologically advanced vehicles, screaming down the salt flats. What do you do if you get a Charlie horse? Suffer! I see you invested a lot of money in your paint job on this rig. I, I need my pom-poms. I feel like I'm cheerleading. Are those race dogs? How many rubber bands do you have in this thing? <laughs> What did it start as? It was a 99 Suzuki GSX-R750. On paper, it'll run 154. Wow. Is but this... unfortunately, this doesn't look like paper. What do you got in it for power? Arctic Cat snowmobile engine. Oh, you're kidding me. What size? 1,000 cc. OK, Rob Lewis, there you go. You got your plug. This is powered by an Arctic Cat snowmobile engine. I got a rosary in my pocket. Well, hang on to it and say a couple of prayers for me. You know it, I will. Okay. You get hit by a bug or something in the face? Oh, man, that hurts. Whoa! That hurts way too much. And there goes the Raspberry Rocket. It's actually the truck that powers the car. <laughs> that is amazing. Wow. There it goes. We're going to find, there he is, he's on his way, and we're going to find out what kind of time they did, whether her prayers helped, he made the record or not. And right now, it's time for us to go to this week's Trailhead Adventure. Thanks, Reese. If you need more information on our Trailhead Adventure, just go to AYLTV.com and you can check it out. Okay, so I am standing, sitting here, or kneeling here, with the third generation Vesco right here, Ronnie. And she is going to be piloting this beautiful machine. So tell me, Ronnie, what's it like to, to drive something like this? Fun and a little bit nerve-wracking, <laughs> a little bit. How long have you been doing this? Uh, I st my first uh, time was in 2008. So this machine that you're sitting in was designed by your grandfather, is that right? He did yeah. design the first streamliner out on the salt flats, yep. This is just uh, part of the family. You, you were born with it in, you know, it's yeah, yeah. in your DNA. My first time out here, I was three months old. Oh my gosh. Well, well we really wish you the best of luck. Thanks. And we're hoping you can break that record. What is that speed record you're going for today? Um, 304. Thanks a lot, Ronnie. We really appreciate your time, and we're wishing you the best of luck. Thank you. And now we're going to go to our commercial break and announce our contest winner. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. Okay. Okay, that's about all we have time for today at your leisure. Oh, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Guess what? We made the 75 mile an hour club. Woohoo! I never thought it would make it. I know, look at this beast. <laughs> hey, listen, thanks for being with us today. We hope that you will join us next week for At Your Leisure, but between now and the next time we get together, make sure that you get out with your family and your friends and enjoy the great leisure. outdoors. All right, you wanna do it again? Yes, let's you do it again. You drive this time. Okay, good. Welcome to At Your Leisure. I'm Chad Booth. I'm Maria Rossi. Uh, if you don't, I'm sorry. I forgot what I was supposed to do. Technical school. Well, it all make friends. <laughs> it all make friends.